weekend series with Southern Miss coming to town beginning on Friday. Team performer in the Colonial Athletic Association as he chops the 1-1 pitch to Pena. He'll have one play, and that's across the diamond to Beach. On the fielder's choice, 5-3 put out to Hamai off pitch. Here's the 3-2. It's going to miss inside, ball four. Second walk of the inning. Dooley checks uh, the runner up the middle, and uh, the first pitch uh, gets away from Huseman and hits him in the back. And the pitch. It's hit up the middle. This could be two. Eels is going to flip to Dooley for one, and on the first, it's a four, six, three. Fourth and fourth in total hits. 3-1, up and away, and what do you know? Eels reaches base, RBIs now. And, uh, well, the 0-1 pitch is blooped over to the shortstop. Uh, Joseph Mershon is there off the end of the bat as Eels hopping off first base. He'll stay, and Bodine hits a high fly ball, deep right center field. This one way back there, and it is out of here. On the boardwalk, and Bo goes deep. His fifth round tripper of the year, and just like that, shots up 2-0 in the home half of the first. Staff. 1-1 to Bender is hammered into deep center field. Way back there, but uh, Kyrie Miller looks like he'll chase it down and make the play in front of the warning a week from Friday. 3-2 is swung out and missed. A good change up there by Brink and picks up the Brook and the Cougar success this year. And there is a call third strike. 2-2 uh, fastball at the knees. The freshman southpaw. And there's the fastball, and there it goes in the right center field. Lucky on his horse, and so is Brown, and he will get there to make the play. GB in right. Rashawn grounded to Pena, but first pitch here. High fly ball in the left field. Bourne, all he can do is look up, and it's out of here. Off the top of the boardwalk uh, beyond the coastal bullpen. Rashawn with a solo home run with two outs. No one on base is fourth of the year. And he cuts the coastal lead now. It's 2-1. Shots up in the top of the third. Supposed to do with it. And now Mathis will step in. First pitch swinging on the ground of the shortstop, Ty Dooley. He has time, and the throw to first is in time. And Houston bounces back after allowing the two on the projections. Virginia at six as Eels hits one into center, and a tough route there by Kyrie Miller. He makes the play. Brown takes a low ball four. He heads to first. Checks the runner and the pitch. Low ball four. Back to back free passes. Allowed by the Charleston right hander. And he goes the other way into the gap in right center field. Uh, Coach Nall is going to hold up. Brown at third. Bases juiced and the 2 2. And there is a call third strike over the inside corner. Uh, Lucky goes down to the pitch. It's hit on the line at the center field. On the run is Kyrie Miller. And he'll get there to make the play for the final out of the inning. Here's the full count pitch. It's lined in the center field for a base hit. JT Mark, it digs one out. 3-0 outside, ball four. The 0-2. Fastball hit in the air to center field. Lucky is right there, hasn't played perfectly. The runner's going to try and tag in Marr. And Dooley's going to cut it off in the throw to third. And he is safe at third base, just ahead of the tag. First pitch from Smith. Breaking ball chopped over to Pena, and he's going to go to Eels for one, and he misses the baseball. Goes in and out of his glove. Run scores from third, and everyone's safe. Runners lead from first and third. The runner goes Miller. It's a call third strike. The throw to second from Bodine, and he is safe at second base. Eels just unable to hold the ball as uh, Miller tries to pitch Coastal out of trouble. 0-1, hit on the ground. A deep play for Dooley. He's not going to have a play. Deep in the hole, an infield hit. And another run comes in for Charleston. 3-2. Cougar to Coastal right-hander. There's a call third strike, I thought. And now they're going to get him in a rundown. And Eels is going to have to tag out. Now he's safe at first. And everyone is safe. A double steal for from Smith. And it's hit right back to the mound. Uh, over his head, Eels will charge in. A low throw and a nice scoop. A backhanded play by Zach Beach. A couple of the free passes. Shots playing from behind, but Chad Bourne offers that a 1-0 pitch, and he sends it over the wall in left field. A solo home run for Chad Bourne. He continues to tear up the midweek with home runs now against Wake Forest, Clemson. Takes in the last half inning, although the shots are able to get one back, and Dooley hits one down the left field line inside the third base bag. Range is going to collect it in a hard turn around first. Dooley will stay on the base, uh, and he is on for the second. 3-0 pitch from Brink. His night uh, likely coming red soon. And 
he takes the pitch inside, a four-pitch walk. Lead-off home run by Chad. One strikeouts on Sunday, the most by a Coastal staff since 1999. As Eels drop down that bunt right in front of the mound, Duval has one play, and that's to go over to first. And the 0-1. This ball live in the left field, and it's going to get down for a base hit. Scoring it from third is Dooley. Pena also rounding third. He will score. It's a two-out RBI, or rather a two-run RBI. We can hit the long ball, and we could do what we need to to manage stadium for this midweek contest as Bender shoots one down the third baseline. Backhanded play by Cole Mathis. He'll step on the bag at third. He takes a run away from between first and second place in the Sunbelt Conference as Lucky hits a shot into the shift. The second baseman, Haymacher, Hamacher, is on the grass in shallow right field and he'll make the play. Here's the 2-2. It's hit on the ground. Two hops uh, to Pena, the third baseman. Quick throw over to first is in time. And a nice aggressive play there by Orlando Pena today to Eastern Kentucky, 9-2. And the 1-2 is swung out and missed. Or did not allow a run. The 0-2. Swung out and missed. Uh, Darren Horn picks up a couple of strikeouts as Charleston goes no one on base. A little nub check swing back to the mound as Duval will field his position. The underhand toss over to first, and Pena is ridden. Here's the 0-1. Nice line to do left field for a base hit. Eels goes the other way. He's on base for the second time today, his first knock of the night. And with one out, runs in the three-run fourth inning after Chad Bourne hit a solo shot to lead it off, and there it goes. A deep left field. Graham Brown for the second consecutive ball game. It's a no-doubter. His 11th of the year. An absolute moon shot for one of the Sun Belt's best. Shots up 7-4 here in the bottom of the sixth. To go along with those 11 home runs. Tied for the team lead now as Bodine pokes one up the middle for a base hit. He's been on base four times today and is two for two. And back to the changeup. Tapped over to the right side. Hamacher will go to second and he's out at second base. Quick force out there. And this ball hit the other way for Lucky. Opposite field base hit with two outs to extend the inning. Bender heads to second. Up uh, here tonight, Beach and Pena, the only two hitters uh, without a hit. So Beach uh, will now reach base on a four pitch walk. This looks to get Charleston out of the jam. And it looks like he might do that. The little trickler to third. Going to be a tough play for Mathis to throw across the time, and he's safe. An infield hit for Chad Bourne drives in a run for over 30 years. A locally owned and operated floor cleaning is going to be out at first base. So the inning's over. And Coastal does, in fact, leave the bases loaded as Bourne grounds out on Callister, grounded to third to get out of the threat. One two is swung on and missed, but it goes all the way to the backstop. And Carter's going to reach base on a strikeout wild pitch. The 3 2. And this pitch is going to miss low, ball four. Strikeout, wild go for three coming to the plate. First pitch swinging, Miller hits one to the shortstop, Dooley. He goes to Eels over to first. It's a 6 4 3 double play. Nice the scoreboard. And he does it with a strikeout. Darren Horn picks up his fourth strikeout of the night to home run in the sixth. Horn will back him up. It looks like it did clip him after Brown was hit by pitch to begin the inning. And the 3 2 is low. Hit batter and a walk. Gerard Clark, first pitch swinging, hammered in the left field. Bender goes deep, it's out of here. Cuts it in. The foul ball, a three-run home run. Coastal opens it up. Another double-digit run performance. And Bendy hits his 12th of the year. RBIs 51, 52, and 53. Ten for the score. And the pitch misses down low. And a four-pitch walk, throwing in the bullpen for now, given the fact that there's now one out as Hudson chases a fast to go up 4-2. The shots responded with three of their own. And the 1-1 pitch is lined down the right field line. It's a fair ball, and it'll go up into the berm. It's a ground rule double. Off the bat of Bourne, going from first to third of the play, is Lucky. And the shots have runners in school to go from off the bat of Bourne. This ball rocketed down the first baseline. Dooling's going to have extra bases. I know he's going to hold at first, uh, but two runs are going to come in 
for Dooley with his second hit of the night. Orlando Pena hits a little fister up the middle of the shortstop, Mershon. He'll flip it to Hamacher and over to first. It's a 6-4-3 double play. And Coyle as the 0-1 pitch is skied in the right center field and deep. Uh, Lucky looks like he's going to chase it down in front of the warning track. No win tonight here at Springsbrook Stadium. I want to say tonight as he deals. Breaking ball, swung out and missed. Three pitches to put away. Hamacher and Charleston is down their final out. And the pitch. Swung out and missed. Uh, Bryce Schaefer picks up back-to-back -back strikeouts in a 1-2-3 ninth inning. Ball game over. Shots win. Your final score.